Shalom, let's give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone, what talks his word. I uh, just got this article out of e uh, Russia Today. Basically, it's talking about how America's uh, reign is almost up and how, you know, there's going to be like this new globalization of what they call a polycentric world after America's rule and all these other countries think they're going to be next up to rule and that's not true you know after America's destroyed uh, with uh, those missiles you know that's when Yahweh Shai's kingdom is going to come you know but uh, this was uh, out of Russia today it's dated yesterday December 11th 2023 it's out of West's 500 year dominance ending Lavrov, the formation of a multipolar world is the objective course of history, the Russian foreign minister said. A 500 year long dominance of the West is coming to an end, being replaced by a new polycentric world. Uh, Russia's foreign minister, Sergei Lavrov, said Sunday in a video addressing address to the Doha Forum. He says it's being replaced by a polycentric world. Polycentric just means, you know, many, many centers, you know, center being the center, poly meaning many. And no, it's just going to be under Yahweh Shai. That's, he's going to be centered around Yahweh Shai. That's what the new world is going to be. It's not going to be this multi centered world, a globalized world, this new world order, or whatever it is they're cooking up. You know, it's going to be centered around Yahweh Shai. Uh, the minister expressed regret that certain circumstances prevented him from coming to the Qatari capital in person and hearing the discussions of the annual high profile event. But I assume that you were discussing the multipolar world, which is emerging after 500 years of domination of what we call the collective West. Uh, the hedge, this hegemony of the U.S. and its allies had been based on a diverse history, including ruthless exploitation of peoples and territories of other countries, he said. Hegemony just means like a, a leadership or a dominance. And that's right, you know, the U.S., you know, they dominated, and they did get control through the exploitation of peoples and territories, you know. We're going to read the scripture, how, you know, they're going to hate the whore because of that. According to the minister, the West suggests, suggested that it could use the model of globalization, which it had been building for centuries to maintain its dominance. However, other countries using exactly the principles and instruments of the West globalization managed to beat the West on its own turf, building the economies on, a, on the basis of national sovereignty and the base, basis of balance of interest with other countries. But yeah, you know, the West is, you know, their dominance is ending, but that's the beginning of a new, the real new world order, which is, uh, you know, Yahweh Shai's kingdom, once this place falls down, but uh, or falls. But this is uh, Revelation 17, 15, and he sent unto me the waters which thou sawest, where the horse sitteth are peoples, multitudes, nations, and tongues. And the ten horns, which I sawest upon the beast, ye shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. So you have the ten horns, the beast, NATO, EU, those nations are going to turn on America. Because, as well as the BRICS nations, because it said right here, it was based on a diverse history. It says the this hegemony of the U.S. and its allies had been based on a diverse history, including ruthless exploitation of peoples and territories of other countries. So that's why, you know, they're going to burn the whore with fire. They're going to turn on her. Turn on America. And that's the whore that sitteth upon many waters in America. For the Most High have put in their hearts to fulfill his will and to agree and to give their kingdom unto the beast until the words of the Most High be fulfilled. 
Yeah, sure, sure. So this is what, you know, John the Revelator saw. This is the new heaven, the new earth. Is uh, the Israel, the Israelites ruling, the elect ruling under Yahweh Shai. Revelation 21 and 1, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth, earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. Yeah, the new heaven, new earth, and the new rulership. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from the Most High out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. So John saw the elect being beamed back down, you know, from the chariots after the destruction. So before these nuclear missiles hit, you know, the, the elect is going to get beamed up, you know, that into those chariots. And that's the salvation. That's what it means to be saved from, uh, that's the salvation right there. Salvation for the elect. But the point is, you know, he saw a new heaven and a new earth, you know, that new rulership, not by any of these other countries, not China, not some new polycentric world. But it's, you know, Yahweh Shai's kingdom being risen up, his ways, the laws of Yahweh Shai being Yahweh Shai be put forth onto the planet Earth, man, for all the nations to follow. This is who they're going to worship, is Yahweh Shai. You know, our power. Uh, Philippians 2 and 7. But made himself of no reputation. This is when Yahweh Shai was on planet Earth as a, as a man. But made himself of no reputation. And took upon him the form of a servant. And was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even death of the cross. Wherefore the Most High also hath highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every other, every name. Yeah, his name is Yahweh Shai. You know, it's important that you push that name. The Most High's name is Yahweh, the Father, and the Son is Yahweh Shai. That that at the name of Yahweh Shai, every knee shall bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. And every tongue should confess that Yahweh Shai is Lord to the glory of the Most High, Yahweh the Father. Yeah, so every, every tongue is going to confess all these nations. You know, they're going to get on the Israelite program, you know. And they're going to be out here doing their own thing that they think they're going to do. Russia's not going to be the next to lead. China's not going to be the next to lead. They're not going to bring in that new world order. Although, if they're going to get close, you know, they're going to institute that chip, that hour of temptation. You know, they'll get close to it. But at the end, the Most High is going to come back. The Lord's coming back to destroy it, their new world order, and establish his world order on the planet Earth. From all the nations are going to get in line with, or else there's going to be a punishment. You know, this is Zechariah 14 16, and it shall come to pass that every one that is left of all the nations which came against Jerusalem shall even go up from year to year to worship the king, the Lord of hosts, and to keep the feast of tabernacles. And it shall be whoso, whoso will not come up of all the families of the earth unto Jerusalem to worship the king the Lord of hosts even upon them shall be no rain and if the family of Egypt go not up and come not that have no rain there shall be the plague wherewith the Lord shall smite the heathen that come not up to keep the feast of tabernacles this shall be the punishment of Egypt and the punishment of all nations that come not up to keep the Feast of Tabernacles. So basically, all these nations are going to have to give tribute unto Yahweh Shai, man. Unto Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Unto the elect. If not, you know, they're going to be punished. So they're going to have to learn our laws, they have to learn our ways, and keep our high holy days, man. They're going to have to learn our language, you know. Lashmar Kadash, you know, the Hebrew. 
We're gonna have to adjust to our our world order. Yeah, how shy is world order, man? Or else they'll be punished, man. Punished with famine, and death, and whatever, man. But yeah, I just wanted to bring out you know this article. The five hundred five hundred year dominance is ending, and you know Yahweh Shai's kingdom is about to be ushered in, man. Uh, with that, you know, shalom.